Good morning. I hope y'all are doing well today, whatever day it might be that you're watching this video. Today I thought it would be fun to take you through my Sunday reset routine. I typically pick one day out of the weekend to just get my house back in order, prepare for the week ahead, grocery shop. I like to kind of get an idea of like what kind of meals I want to make for the week. Just try to get myself organized for the week. These are some of my favorite videos to watch, so I thought it would be nice to share my reset routine with you guys. I typically share a lot of these things throughout my videos, but I haven't done a dedicated video like this. As you guys know, I love getting things organized and planned out. I am a to-do list maker, so I really do try to reset my mind frame and just spend a little time not only pampering myself, but planning out the week ahead, I really do find all of these things to be relaxing. So as you guys can see, my mornings start off whenever Ethan wakes up, which is anywhere from like 6.30 to 7. Today he woke up a little after 7, which was like really nice because he never sleeps in that late. So first thing I do is go get him up and then make my coffee, of course. And then I just kind of give myself a few minutes to wake up. Usually he's hungry and wants a snack. He's a huge snacker, which I'm sure if you guys have toddlers, you know, they live off snacks. So got him a snack and then I just kind of woke up for a minute did my to-do list and now I'm finally awake enough to go get my workout done. So I'm gonna be changing out of my pajama pants, putting on some leggings and figuring out what workout I'm gonna be doing today. Every weekend is a little bit different. Sometimes I use both days as rest days and I don't work out, but this week I took a couple days off, so I'm gonna be getting in a quick little workout before making my breakfast. got in a really good workout. It was only about 20 minutes long and then I did like a little stretching routine and then I went ahead and made breakfast for my husband and then for me I made some eggs with salsa with half a cup of oatmeal and for the milk I used my protein shake because it gives it so much flavor. So I used like the zero sugar muscle milk and put some blueberries in there. It was so good. So now it is 11 o'clock. I need to get Ethan down for his nap. He's been going down for naps a little bit later and he's actually been fighting them recently. I'm hoping he's not going through like a phase of wanting to not nap anymore because I need him to continue with his nap. So we still try every single day, even though sometimes it takes like two or three times putting him down before he'll actually take a nap. But I'm about to lay him down for his nap. And since today is Sunday, we do like to cut the grass if it needs to be cut. So I'm actually gonna go outside and pick up the dog poop, of course. And then I also wanna pull up some weeds because this is gonna be the first cut of spring for us. So we have some weeds that are starting to pop up that we just wanna pull up before we mow them over and just like spread them. So. I'm gonna go outside, get a little yard work done, get some fresh air while Ethan takes a nap. So I'm gonna go get him down and then we're gonna head outside.
it is hot out there today. I got an entire black trash bag full of weeds. So got tons of them up. So the yard is ready for my husband to mow the grass. The kids had so many water balloons in the yard that I had to pick up too. So that took me quite some time, but it feels good to have that done. Now it's time to get some cleaning done on Sundays. I don't know. I just get this feeling like I want my house not only to be clean, but I want it to smell really good. And you guys know I love my pine saw. I actually just got my shipment in from pine saw. If you guys don't know, I do buy it in bulk so I can get the original formula pine saw before they like made the changes. If you guys didn't know, they did change the formula and the scent is so much different. And I just love that first formula that they had so I buy mine in bulk I just got it in and I was like you know what I just want to mop my floors I want the house to smell really good so I'm about to do some really quick cleaning I'm gonna make my bed I'm gonna get some laundry started gonna fold some laundry and then probably start mopping and while I'm doing this I'm gonna have my robot vacuum vacuuming the floors that way I can then go behind it and mop it with the pine saw so it can smell really good The house seriously smells so amazing now. I love the smell of pine salt. And it's so funny because even the kids are like, the house smells so good. They are just like me and love the smell of pine salt. But now I have my little um, notebook that has like Sunday through Saturday so I can plan out our meals. So I'm just gonna be using my iPad I have right here. I'm going to be looking up on Pinterest and just seeing if I can find anything that sounds good. And I already like went through my pantry and the fridge. That way I could just like get an idea of what foods I have and then hopefully try to find some recipes. That way I don't have to buy too many groceries. I will likely order my groceries online and then do a curbside pickup tomorrow. That way I don't have to go in. I can just get them first thing in the morning after I drop the kids off from school. That seems to be the easiest. Every once in a while, I like to go in and like do the full on grocery shopping whenever we're planning out the meals, but I love curbside pickup for the convenience. And I love that most places now it's 
free. So it's definitely a great perk to take advantage of if you guys don't do it. Definitely recommend, especially if you are a busy mama, if you work, if you have multiple children, it saves you so much time not going into the store. And I find it saves money because you're not like walking down the aisle and finding random things that you really don't need or foods that you really shouldn't eat. It's less temptation. So I really do love curbside pickup. So I went ahead and picked out five crock pot meals and wrote the things that I need to double check and see if we have in the pantry. If I do, I will go ahead and check it off. If not, then I know to add it to my curbside pickup list. Here is that little curbside pickup grocery haul. I picked up a thing of blueberries. I actually am gonna be making these keto muffins for the first time, so hopefully they turn out good. I got some more of this garden salad mix. I've really been loving this mix. It just goes bad so much faster than the spring mix, but I've been pretty much going through a bag before it goes bad. I picked up some salsa for one of the recipes. And I went ahead and got mild, that way, you know, the kids won't complain it's spicy. I picked up some more mayonnaise because we ran out. I usually buy the light. This is for a new recipe I've never had, ganache before. So I'm really excited to try it out and see what these taste like. I mean, I know they're going to be good because they're made out of potatoes, but I'm excited to try them. I also needed some of these little tiny noodles for a recipe and I'm going to be making minestrone and I always like using little tiny noodles for that. I picked up two cans of diced tomatoes, three cans of white beans. We're going to be using beans in quite a few recipes. I have some of these diced green chilies, two cans of green beans. This sweetener is really good, the zero calorie monk fruit one. This is the HEB brand. It is exactly like the Swerve, but it's cheaper. So I got a, a bag of that. And then I got Swerve Confectioner's Sugar because they don't have it in the HB brand. So I got the name brand one because I need that to make um, like some of the frostings and stuff for the keto recipes. I picked up two limes, some cilantro. We are just about out of butter. So I got another tub of butter. I got a two pack of cream cheese for some of the recipes and then I also needed some heavy whipping cream and we are just about out of almond milk and I swear this is the second time so the first time they gave me almond milk unsweetened but plain and then this time they were out again so they gave me almond milk vanilla instead of unsweetened but it's fine I know the kids are gonna love this because there's more sugar in it and then I got two things of ground beef because I am making some ground beef recipes and I think I only have one pound left. So got some more and that is everything that I picked up. I think I spent a total of $60. Got tons of laundry done, made dinner. The kids wanna go outside and play for a little bit before it's time to take a bath. So we're gonna go outside, enjoy the weather for a little bit. It's such a nice day. My husband cut the grass, so it's looking good outside. We really do try to get outside on the weekends, especially because I feel like during the week we're always like so busy. We do go outside and play during the week, but on the weekends I really do make a point to go outside, get them on their bikes and playing as much as I possibly can. <laughs> Aubrey usually stays in her room because she's 11 and you know, she's too big for that. Every once in a while she'll come out and ride the scooter, but Austin is really excited. He finally has learned how to ride his bike without training wheels. So he wants to go outside and just practice and get even better at riding his bike. So we're gonna go out there for a little bit.
It is now much later. The kids are now in bed. We played outside for so long. All the neighborhood kids were out there and the kids were having a blast. So we stayed out until like 7.30 and then we quickly came inside. I gave them all a bath. And then Sundays, what I really love to do is a little pamper time, a little self-care. So I love taking a nice hot bubble bath just to relax and wind down for the night. So I'm about to take a nice bath. I really wanted to paint my nails today, but we played outside for way too long. So I'll have to do that tomorrow, but I think it's so important to take the time to do a little self-care. So baths are my favorite. And then I've still been doing my skincare routine every single night. I really feel like it's been making a difference. So after I get out of the bathtub, I will do my skincare and then that'll be it. I'll be calling it a night. I know it's really hard to find time for yourself, but if you are a mom, definitely take the time each and every day just to spend a little time on yourself. You deserve it. And here's your reminder that you are doing an amazing job. Do not ever forget that you are raising some amazing kids. So enjoy this phase of life, soak it in, but don't forget to remember you have to fill your cup before you can fill others. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit different, but if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. That way I know to make more videos like this one, or if there's any other routine you guys are interested in, please feel free to let me know. And if you are new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload every single Monday and Friday, tons of motherhood content, and I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.